Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angie. Thank you so much for being here. So today we're going to be doing uh, two looks using the Nervina palette. I already did a first impression and review of this palette and I have really close up swatches so I'm going to link that video below. But today we're going to do a purple look and a more uh, colorful look uh, using the palette. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified every time I upload a video. I'm posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay guys, so here I'm taking uh, the shade A3 on a fluffy uh, blending brush and I'm just packing that all over my crease. So what I'm pretty much doing is... Um, Packing a lot of color, not blending that much, but you know, packing and blending, but pretty much just depositing, depositing a lot of color into my crease until I'm happy with um, the intensity. These shadows are super pigmented, so you don't really need to do a lot of back and forth, but I still had to um, go in um, quite a bit to build up to this color. Then I am taking a Sigma brush on the shade A2 and I'm just uh, using that color which is a lighter purple to blend out my edges. So that's going to diffuse that purple that I used um, on my crease. So just blending that um, back and forth. Then I'm just going back to the same color A3 with the same brush and just to pack a little bit on my outer V because I felt like I lost a little bit of color. Now I'm just mixing the color A1 and C1 together and I'm putting that in my inner corner um, and my inner lid space pretty much. But I'm not going all the way through my lid, just halfway uh, through it. I I mixed with the white because I wanted to really pop and the purple was not, uh, you know, uh, bright enough. So that's why. And then I'm just going back with that detail blending brush with A3 and um, just blending over the edges um, and packing a little bit more color. Then I'm just working on my lower lash line and I'm mixing A3 and B4. And I'm, I'm just pretty much packing that all over my, my lower lash line, like so. So that's it, just few colors and this look is pretty much all done. Um, here I'm just taking the color A4 and it's a gold uh, color and I'm just putting that in my inner corners to highlight. Here I'm just showing you, I used the Colourpop liner for my waterline and the Anastasia to make a wink. And that's all for look number one. Alright you guys, so this is look number one completed. This is what it looks like. Really pretty using uh, tons of purple in her palette. I was really wanting to try her purples. Um, I know last time I did more of a pinkish look. So I wanted to do purple for my look. I still have one more to go, uh, but for this one, pretty much I uh, used these three purple colors here. So uh, the color that I have packed all over my crease is A3. Um, I'll just uh, tell you like this so it's easier for me to edit and then I'll just insert the clip um, of what I'm doing anyway. So all over my crease I put um, A3 and then I went in and blended uh, my crease out with A2 uh, and blown that color all over. Then I went in with the white shade and the so C1 and A1 put that in the inner part of my lid <laughs> if I can talk so I built that quite a bit uh, so I went in back and forth just with those two shades I wanted to use A1 at, by itself but I didn't feel like it was white enough so I mixed it uh, with the white and this is what it looks like I think it's really really pretty I'm sorry I keep on blinking um, and then in my inner corners I just went in with a4 
um, you know, with a pencil brush. In my lower lash line, I went in with a B4, which is this darker purple, and then I mixed that with A3, which I had on my crease, and then I just blown that all over my lower lid. Uh, and then I put on ColourPop, No Shame. This is uh, one of their liners, so I put that on my waterline. Then I went in with Anastasia's Eye Liquid Liner, and I did a little bit of a wing, nothing to stream. You're not even able to see it, just to cover my lashes. And then I put in some uh, Wispies um, lashes. So yeah, you guys, this is look number one. I hope you guys like it. Now let's move on to number two. So I forgot to say for both uh, eye looks, I used my Anastasia eye primer. So, so um, I'm taking the color D3. So same packing uh, motion that I did uh, with my purple look. And I'm placing that all over my crease. Again, this is a super pretty color. It's a little bit of a red um, leaning to fuchsia. It's really, really bold. I loved this color very, very much. So I'm just packing and blending all at the same time, just like I did uh, with the purple. Just going back and forth. But I had to blend this one a little bit more than I did with the purple, to be honest. Now I'm just taking a Sigma brush and I'm taking the color E4, which is a lighter color again, just to diffuse the, um, the edges of my crease and, you know, to make it um, a little bit less sharp. So I am just blending over the edges, going back and forth until I'm happy with how it looks. Then I'm going back again with the three and just packing that a little bit more on my outer V. And all over my lid, I'm packing an orange color, which is stunning. Um, this one is a shade E2. And I'm just placing this with a MAC brush. And I'm just packing this all over my lid, all the way to uh, the end of my lid. Just really packing this color. Then I felt like I wanted a little bit of sparkle, so I went in with a shade E1 and I put that pretty much in the inner uh, corner a little bit and I went um, not towards the end, but you know. And then I'm taking the 3 and E2 and I'm packing that all over my lower lash line like I did with my previous look. And then I'm putting in my inner corners to highlight. I'm taking a one. And that's it, you guys. That's all. All right, guys. So I'm back. This is look number two. So let's talk. So this time I used... Um, really bright colors and I'm really really liking um, what my look turned out to be so pretty much all over my crease I applied um, D3 and I packed that on my crease and then I did E4 uh, to blend the edges over the crease then I packed E2 all over my lid and I put E1 as a sparkle at top I wish it was summer all over again so I could wear it out. Um, but I mean, I could wear it out if I wanted to, but you know, it's just really bold. Um, then uh, for my lower lash line, I just mixed uh, D3 and E2. And then, you know, I just blown uh, that on my lower lash line. Then for my inner corner, which one I used? Oh, I used uh, the purple. I used... Uh, a1 in my inner corners and I don't know you guys what do you guys think which look you like best I'm really like I really like the purple uh, but I'm really liking this one as well oh and then of course I put on a liner I did the same one as yesterday I'm really liking that purple in my lower lash line like on my sorry on my waterline uh, I put that on my waterline then I did the same Anastasia um, eyeliner on my um, you know as a small wing and then I put our Dull Wispies 
same lashes as yesterday because this is a whole new day um, and yeah that's it all right guys so I just wanted to share these two uh, extra looks using the Norvina palette you guys there is a new volume 2 already on the making they actually posted a picture and I'm gonna pop it up here trend mode put it up yesterday and I was like shocked they're already coming with volume 2 and I'm gonna be quite honest I wanted to make this video once I saw uh, that one coming out because I mean there's so many palettes I think it's so unnecessary like this that one is really really colorful it has more blues and greens and like it's a different scheme like I'm not gonna lie this one tends to be more warm and the other one um, tends to look a little bit more cool so I guess it's just gonna come down to personal preference and what the shades you use the most for me I'm really content with this one and I don't think I'll be purchasing volume 2 and that's all for today you guys I hope you enjoy my two looks using the Norvina volume 1 palette please leave me comments down below let me know if you were able to recreate them please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy and don't forget also to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I'm gonna see you in my next one bye you guys